Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Clark, and I'm going to show you how to do 376 divided by 8. As always, I suggest that you try it on your own and just use this video to check your work or help you if you get stuck, because the more that you try it, the better you'll remember it and the easier it'll get. 376 is our dividend. We're dividing it by 8, so that's our divisor. And your answer that we put up top is the quotient. Imagine if you had 376 pennies and you were putting them into eight buckets. Um, the quotient is how many are going to be in each. So you're going to be dividing by eight. And you could take, you know, 376 tally marks and go one for you, one for you, one for you and split it into eight groups, but that would take forever. And that's why we use this algorithm of divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, because you're going to be able to do one digit at a time. So you're going to divide eight into the three or the 300, the seven, the 70, and the six. And each time you do that, you're going to have a little bit left over. You multiply it down, see how close you got, a little bit left over before you bring down the next digit so that you can get it exact. So let's start. First, we divide. And normally you do three divided by eight, but three is not big enough. If I had three pennies and I had to divide them into eight buckets, I don't have enough to actually do it. So you're actually going to take the 37 and do that number instead. 37 divided by eight. One way to think of this is you could skip count your eights and see how close can you get to 37 without going over. So one eight, two eights, three eights, four eights. That's as close as you can get. So 8 can go into 37 four times. And then the reason you multiply back down is because you didn't get exactly 37. You got close. And we want to see exactly how close did you get. 4 times 8 is 32. That was our multiplication step. Now we're going to subtract to see what's left over. 37 minus 32 is 5. So we did that 37, we got it, but there's a little left over, and then you bring that 6 down to join with the 5, or the 50. And now we have 56, and we're going to do 56 divided by 8, and put that number here. So if you know it, put it up there. If you don't, that's okay. Something that really helps is to keep skip counting and see that you can get 56 exactly. So how many eights was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can fit eight into 56 seven times. That was our purple divide step. Next step is multiply our red. You're gonna multiply back down seven times eight, which you know because you just wrote out the multiples of eight. Seven times eight is 56. And our last step is to subtract, and we get zero, which means there's no remainder, which means that if you had 376 pennies and you split them into eight, you would have 47 exactly in each group. There'd be nothing left over. You can check this work by doing 47 times eight, which will get you 376 exactly. Four times eight is 320. That's our kind of 32 that we got there. And then 7 times 8 is 56, and 320 plus 56 is 376.